So I want to show you how to make a spy flashlight or an LED flashlight out of a dry erase marker body and an LED. And they're kind of cool because if you get a good connection here, and I can turn it on and then you put a cap on it and it glows. glows the color that you, well, it glows the color of your cap. So that's cool. How to do it? Start with just an old dry erase marker. If they are dried out, it's actually better. Use needle nose pliers, pull out the marker part, and pull off the back. Some brands don't quite let you do this, so I always use the Expo or ones like that. I can throw all this stuff away, I don't need it. And now I need to drill a hole for the LED leg. I don't know, maybe two thirds the way, halfway down. We'll go halfway down. Be careful not to drill your finger or drill through a surface when you're using this. The idea here is I'm going to take my batteries, which you don't have to tape together. I did because it makes it a little bit easier to do this as a one-person job. But I need to make a complete loop here with my batteries and my LED. So you want to have the longer leg of the LED touching the positive end. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, or one, two hands, just to make sure this is working. And you can see it's lighting up there. So we're in business. So I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to bend the long end around so that it sits down in here and it's going to be, make contact with the top of the battery. And then the short end, I'm going to bend it outward a little bit and stick it through so it comes out the hole that I drilled. And then push this down way. So it's kind of like that. I'm going to take some aluminum foil here and wad it up into a ball and push it down in here and try to get it to make a little bit better connection. So I'm going to kind of wad that up so that it jams the, the LED lead kind of in there tight, and then if it, the battery touches the aluminum foil, it helps make contact a little bit better. Usually that's the problem if you don't have good contact. Push that in there. And if I bring this around here, get it to make contact there. And there we go. Got a bit of a short somewhere. It doesn't quite turn on all the time. So I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit. There we go. Then I can tape these down so that it's an on off switch like that. And get it to uh, always come on when I do it. Sometimes you have to push down on this end to make a better connection. So taping that definitely helps. I have. Um, Another one here that I made that's already taped up, and you saw it already. And it's got a little bit of a short as well, but it's close. This is the basic idea. You can modify it however you like and try to make it a little bit better, but that's about as simple as a flashlight, uh, I think, as you can make.